Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to answer a question that everybody keeps asking me and there's always questions about this on the internet. How do you pass your gaming PC audio to your streaming PC with an Elgato card? Okay, so I, I use the Elgato HD60S. Um, I don't know about any other capture card, that's the only one I'm familiar with, uh, but we are going to take a look at that. Um, the first thing that you're gonna have to do though is uh, download Game Capture HD for for your Elgato on your stream on your on your gaming PC, and then also uh, download Sound Capture on your gaming PC. And on your streaming PC, you're gonna download just the Game Capture HD, so so the the Elgato drivers. Um, but you're not gonna download the Sound Capture on the uh, uh, streaming PC. Um, it's actually really, really, really simple. So let's take a look at what we have here. All right, guys, I don't actually have a cool stand for my camera, so I'm going to be holding this myself. Just to show you, we have downloaded um, Game Capture here, and we have downloaded Game uh, Sound Capture on my gaming PC. This is my gaming PC, my gaming monitor. Um, and on the streaming PC up here, we've downloaded just the game capture HD no um, nothing nothing with the game sound so this is what you're gonna do on your uh, streaming PC to make this work you're gonna use OBS so with OBS let me see oh it's already running sorry I'm gonna open that this is gonna be hard I should have just done like screen capture or something but um, go down to where it says your uh, video capture device. You're going to add a video capture device, which is going to be your ca game capture HD60S or or whatever card you have. I don't know which 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 game capture you have. You're going to select that. Uh, it could be the video number one or just the game capture itself. Press OK. And then where it says your video capture device here with your audio, you're going to go to uh, settings and go to properties and see how this is selected here. You're going to make sure this is still selected. Go all the way down. Don't change anything. Go all the way down to where it says audio output, output, audio output mode. And you're going to select output desktop audio wave out. Okay. So we're good on that. Done. That's literally all you have to do for the audio on your uh, oops, on your streaming PC. We're good on the um, on the thing. Hey, you, you you can see me there. Look. Ooh, hello. Uh, so on here, once you have this downloaded, Game Capture HD, Sound Capture, all that cool stuff. Just open up your Sound Capture. We're gonna open that up. That's actually gonna come to my second monitor here. And. It's as simple as this. You're gonna click on PC gaming. You're gonna switch, this is, this is gonna automatically be on off. You're gonna click on PC gaming and down here at the bottom, you're gonna select where do you want to hear your PC uh, gameplay. You're gonna select your HD60S or your HD60 or whatever Elgato card you have, NVIDIA High Definition Audio. And then for your, which output is your Elgato uh, game capture device connected to, you're gonna select your headset or your speakers or whatever you want to, your whatever you want to hear your sound coming out of. So so when you game, um, once you open this and you set this up, um, you can switch switch back and forth. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit for it to register. So so don't 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 worry about it. Like if I check the uh, audio the sound here, see how there's nothing coming out. You can see sound on the uh, on the capture sound card. But there's no sound over there. There's also no sound out of my headset. Well, now there is. So it's been about a minute, eh, about 30 seconds. So about 30 seconds later, it'll actually uh, transfer the sound like it's supposed to. And just make sure at the bottom here on your sound, click on that. It should say Speaker Elgato Sound Capture. Uh, let me zoom into that so you guys can see that. Speaker Elgato Sound Capture. By the way, again, sorry for the bad camera work, guys. I don't have a, a tripod or anything to use here. But as you can see now, after about a minute, it uh, you can hear it coming out of my headset. And if we look up on the uh, streaming PC, 
if we go all the way up, the sound, now this is my mic pick, being picked up. The sound is actually coming out of the desktop audio. I hope you guys can catch that. It's coming out of the desktop audio if I click it. And this is why, because you, you picked wave out, which means it's actually transferring the sound from your gaming PC to the streaming PC as is, as if the, the sound from the, the gaming PC was coming directly from your streaming PC. So if we actually click on, if we unmute the screen here, well, you'll notice that now you can hear my mic from my, from my gaming PC, but that's, that's a whole different thing. Um, let's see, you can hear the sounds from my gaming PC on the actual uh, speakers of the streaming PC. So here you go. All right, that was me checking window sound. And you could also hear my mic. Now the mic, it's a little bit different, okay? Um, so that, that's, that's, that's it. That's pretty much all you have to do for the gaming part of it. So you can hear the, uh, the, all the sounds that are coming out of your PC game, your gaming PC, and it's going directly to your uh, streaming PC. We're good, we're done, cool. We're, we're, we're done with that. But how do you get your mic? Now I actually use the Blue Snowball here. It's a USB type mic. Let me actually mute mute uh, the screen. Oh, and by the way, once you do this, you're going to have to mute. If you have speakers connected to your streaming PC, you're going to have to mute them. Um, that's the only way. You mute it, and you're good. Uh, from here, to do the mic, we're going to go ahead and right-click on the sound option. Right-click and go to sounds. So that's going to open up. Okay, and then we're going to go to recording. And you're going to find your microphone. For mine, is going to be the blue snowball. You're going to right click on that. You're going to go down to properties. You're going to go to listen. And you're going to go click on listen to this device. So this has to be checked off. And then you're going to select your HD60 or your Agato card as your play, playback through this device. And then just Click OK, and that's it. And just to show you again, properties, listen, you make sure this is clicked on, and then you can select from here your HD60 or your Elgato card for high definition audio, and click OK. And that automatically transfers the audio over there. So as you can see, it's picking up my microphone, which is this microphone, directly to my streaming PC, which is that one. And there you have it. Okay guys, so there you have it. That's actually how you transfer the, uh, the audio from your gaming PC to your streaming PC using an Elgato capture card, uh, using the Elgato uh, software that, that, that it, it, it's actually included with you buying this and using it. Um, this is the cool part about it though. Since you're sending it through the Elgato capture card, there's actually no sound delay um, upon shoot, shooting. Like if, let's say, uh, uh, for example, a shooting game, you click the button and it shoots the bullet and then you hear the sound afterwards. A lot of people have delays delays with their setup. This actually has no delay whatsoever. The only delay that you're gonna find is doing the microphone the way I did it. It's gonna be about a one, like a half a millisecond delay, but you can actually fix that um, with, a, with, with something else. So you don't have to use repeaters. You don't have to use any other kind of software uh, like everybody else does, which causes big headaches pretty much. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you have any other suggestions, please comment down below. This works perfectly fine for me. Um, this is like the minimal, the most minimal headaches, headache that it gives, that, that, you know, I don't even know how to say it. Uh, it's easy, pretty much. And like I said, if this helped you out, please <laughs> subscribe, like the video, share it, so it helps other people out as well. If you dislike the video, well, I'm just trying to help you, so uh, you're kind of a butt to dislike the video. Anyways, um, on, on another note, stay tuned. I am also gonna show people uh, on another video how to stream into a second gaming PC like this, but using my 1440p monitor at 144 hertz on the uh, HD60S, which is only 60 hertz and 1080p but it works. I can game at 1440p at 144 hertz and still stream at 1080p 
or whatever resolution I want to stream over there. And it works. It doesn't, it doesn't like block me off. Anyway, stay tuned for that video. Thank you again. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it helped you out. Bye-bye.